Hey guys, we're going to be talking about Hase diagrams today. So let's get started. I'll share my screen. Perfect. So we're going to answer a couple of questions about this particular Hase diagram. And the first thing it's asking us to do is find all of the maximal elements. So remember maximal elements are going to be elements that have no elements that are greater than them. And in this case, we could say that L and M have no elements that are greater than them. So those are going to be our maximal elements. What about our minimal elements? So this is going to be just like the opposite. And we're saying that uh, what elements have no other elements that are less than them. And in this case, just visually, we can see that's going to be A, B, and C. So I'll write down A, B, and C. Now, let's look at this uh, part C. That's asking, do we have a greatest element? And a greatest element exists if and only if we have exactly one maximal element. So in this case, we have two. So there is no greatest element. And again, least element exists if and only if we have exactly one minimal element. And in this case, we have three. So no, we do not have an, a least element. Now, what we're going to be doing is finding all the upper bounds of A, B, and C. So all the upper bounds refers to all the elements that A, B, and C are all going to be less than. So for example, we cannot choose D uh, because C is, we don't know if C is less than D. There currently is no way to compare, but just again, we can go scroll up these uh, visually and we can see where they intersect. And that's kind of going to give us a good example of where our uh, upper bounds can be. So in this case, we see that they definitely intersect at L and M, but also K as well. So K is going to be greater than A, K is greater than B, and K is greater than C. So K is going to be a, an upper bound of A, B, and C. And for all of these, we could say K, L, and M. Now, what about a least upper bound as part F is asking? So a least upper bound refers to an upper bound of A, B, and C that is going to be less than all of the other upper bounds. And in this case, we see that K is less than M and K is less than L. So K is going to be our least upper bound. Let's kind of do the opposite scenario. So we're gonna look at F, G, and H. So let me circle those, F, G, and H. And we want to see all lower bounds. And this means all elements that are going to be less than F, less than G, and less than H. And it turns out that we can't find any. C is only less than F and G, but not less than H. E is only less than H, but not less than F or G. And it seems that there's really going to be no, uh, yeah, there isn't going to be any particular low, uh, lower bound of F, G, and H. So we'll say that it does not exist. Do, do, do. And for finding the greatest lower bound, well, if there is no lower bound of F, G, and H, there can't be a greatest lower bound, right? So this means that this is also not going to exist. And that concludes our working with Hase diagrams. If you have any questions, strongly recommend reaching out on Piazza. Looking forward to it. See you guys.